Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Uh, this is another uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, I want to show you how to download the earthquake records uh, from for the time history analysis. So, in case if you want to conduct some uh, time history response, so there, there is you need some sort of uh, recorded earthquake. So uh, there is also available some data uh, with the uh, uh, software such as uh, SAP ETAPS and also uh, Sysmos Fracture but in some specific case we need to use some other countries uh, earthquake records so therefore we need to download from the peer ground motion database or some other database so here is the uh, Sysmos signal software in case if you have this software because uh, if you want to play with this uh, time history record you need to you have to you have you should have this software to uh, correlate and also make some scaling or making some change to the time history analysis uh, if i go to open and you can see there is some uh, installed uh, loma prita northridge uh, some gt and this also could be data so but maybe this is not enough in some uh, analysis you need at least 50 earthquake 30 earthquake or uh, more so we want to get this data directly from the database which is already uh, stored for the research you come here in case if you don't have the here so i will show you both so you come to the download strong motion and you can see there is uh, six uh, database so the first one is peer ground motion database which is the largest in in the in, in the world and the second is like european strong uh, motion database uh, I have uh, access to some of them, but uh, if you want to access to the European or Italian, you have to contact them by email and ask them to provide you a username and also uh, a password. Then you can enter it down. It's a little uh, bit, bit complicated than the, this one. So this one is uh, totally uh, everyone can without uh, contacting the administration. You can go there. So when you click here, you will see this database. So you have to create, uh, uh, you should go to the here and you should sign up. So you should have an email address and then you can create a, a password and then login. So I have already and I can go to login. Then here is we have two, two kind of database. The one is NGA Northwest and NGA West. So this is the Central East North American database, and this is also the shallow crustal earthquake and active tectonic region. So you can go both of them in case if you need. And here is giving the information. Uh, mostly this database is recorded from where to where. So for this example, I go to the this one, and after that you can you see this um, uh, pot, and you can come to here. So I want to uh, get a new scaling, uh, which means the. Uh, uh, the exact uh, earthquake from the ground uh, recorded earthquakes so now here we will see the um, search option and you can uh, give this one this is a specific uh, characteristic for the recording like uh, the event name the station name or a scene name each country has this uh, this specification so in case if you know your country's specification then you can give this exact number name and you will just go to search it's called search record and it will find for you but uh, i don't remember none of them so just i know the one of the very popular uh, event is kubi uh, kubi or Northridge or uh, uh, bomb uh, bomb is iranian uh, earthquake which is very uh, uh, popular and it's very uh, catastrophic earthquake in the world so the kubi is also so just i gave the kubi so in the kubi name there is will be thousand earthquake recorded so I'm going to call search and you can see this record is uh, visualized here. So you can see the most earthquake is over nine, uh, over uh, 6.9, almost 6.9. And you can see the sort of earthquake, the mechanism and also the uh, location or the epicenters and also the ruptures and the uh, velocities and uh, all information is giving so what we're gonna do is you can uh, you can use this function is here uh, download time history record if I want to uh, 
risk kill and go back to give some scale make 1.2 so there's no need because we need another uh, application that we can uh, use it so in case I want to uh, go to check one of them or see uh, let's go to view this one and just now instead of using all them and we selected one of uh, those one and this is the location This is the location of that uh, earthquake, and uh, also we can see the graph here. This is the uh, you can see pseudo spectral oscillation, and uh, the each color is showing which uh, like this is the this is the graph. We just showing the spectral uh, spectral automatics plus minus step and also spectral SRSs. So we have these two and then we can uh, go to download this one so you can consider download search using uh, metadata spectrum and you can download time series so i'm now using time series so i'm going to call you have downloading this one so automatically it will download for me just it take a while and then it will uh, converting to the zip file and yeah here is the the pure ground record so if i go to the uh, that file go to open so i can go to open file and here is the giving data so uh, if I let me go to first that that area and I'm gonna uh, let me cut this one so I cut, cut it and I'm gonna paste here I'm gonna paste it here and I want to unzip extract and you can see all the data is giving so this data is giving uh, some uh, specification uh, let me open the uh, csv file or excel file and you can see now uh, this is the first information this is the information you can read the exact location raptures everything from the, this one and also consider the dumping ratio scaling method and the component method using which SRS or some uh, automatics method and here is giving the uh, another information uh, this is called record sequence number so we have from 1, uh, 1100 to 1000 so totally 20, uh, 21 record is downloaded now you can come to here you know the uh, about the uh, the magnitude of the earthquake and the location this and the station name and the year which this earthquake is uh, occurred and here is the this is the horizontal acceleration and this is also the vertical acceleration and the name is given here so now I want to see the uh, horizontal acceleration of uh, this earthquake so this is earthquake this this earthquake uh, this is the first one so it is in uh, Abino in the Japan and it's 99 and the magnitude is 9.9 .9. so I want to get the horizontal acceleration so this is the first one is the horizontal acceleration the A T2 A T2 now I'm gonna go back to here The first one is AT2. So I can open in uh, automatically to that text file. Open with open a text file, and you can see the data is like this. And uh, it's the uh, copy job on and acceleration time. The unit is G, and the name is this one 99 years. And the total number is 40,000, and the uh, step between each record is 0 0.1 second. So, what we're gonna do is I can uh, upload this one to my uh, software, and I can go to open here and go to the desktop, and here is a new folder. And the first one was my AT2, and I'm gonna open it, and you can see I should give this information to the uh, uh, to this software so the first line is here i posted line five so it means first line is in line six and the last line is be about fifteen thousand because it's forty thousand so i can give it uh forty thousand five 
and the data time is giving this one 0 0.1 second the scale factor so it's not scaling in case if you want to scale just give 1.2 1.5 as much as you want and now here is called uh, peer ground uh, peer, uh, you can select this one it's automatically detected this one and you can last line is okay this one and time step is this one and I'm gonna uh, the unit is G and we will see the velocity in centimeters per second and displacement in centimeters. I'm gonna okay and you can see the record is created so like this you can uh, then uh, select for your analysis and you can use this one and also you can uh, do some uh, filtering or some sort of using some filtering some sort of uh, uh, correction and also you can uh, you do not need to use this one this part is very short you as well as you can cut this one and you may, may reduce the time here the time periods uh, and also you can uh, go to here uh, use the uh, Fourier transformation methods and using uh, this uh, FF, FFR and also you can get to see uh, some uh, create some dumping and also uh, let's create a spectrum of that curve so this is the giving uh, uh, time history's uh, response spectrum and you also can get the response spectrum by frequency and also by displacement or situ this curve and for the last one you can just uh, go to the ground motion parameters and you can come uh, yeah, just go to the here and you can select all of them and just go to select all and copy selection and paste to another text file and then you can use for the your work so uh, another way is just you give this name and you can give NGA West or Berkeley University you can go to this website and get, get this data then you have to create an account and then you can see you can uh, download any record you want so this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put in a comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.